Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, love reading. This is uh, going to be for the zodiac sign of Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Will my ex return? So these are the Aries people that are currently possibly entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you um, or both of you are entertaining the idea of reconciling. So we are going to take a look at uh, both of your current mutual energies, what happened between you guys in the past to uh, split. And then uh, we'll finish off the read to see what, um, to see if there's going to be a possible reconciliation between you two. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway since I'm getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. I would like to choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me. Uh, the way that you enter this giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell. Um, giving this video a thumbs up and also leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 20k once i reach 20,000 subscribers i will uh, choose two winners um and i will make the announcement on the community tab so make sure that um you are subscribed to my channel make sure the notifications are turned on so that you get notified when I announce the winners. For the winners, those of you that are comfortable with leaving your email address in, your po in, in the post in the comment section below, you can feel free to do so. If you are uncomfortable with doing that, you can feel free to email me. I will leave my email address uh, when I post the winners up um, in the community tab. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Oh, by the way, this reading uh, for Aries, will my ex return? This is going to be for the whole month of June, okay? All right. Tell me what are the mutual energies currently between Aries and their ex for June 2021? What are the mutual current energies for Aries and their ex for June 2021? I should turn that off. Okay. Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. We have the world. Capricorn energy or any of the fixed signs. We have the Hierophant. So I'm feeling like both of these are feeling like this connection is over. Page of Pentacles, more Earth energy here. Um, we have the Nine of Wands. Hangman. Piscean energy and the four of pentacles. Mm. So I'm feeling like you both feel like this connection is over, but there is this sense of not releasing this though. I feel like there is this like paranoia that it's like completely over and there's no way that this could be salvaged. I do feel like someone is sneak, trying to sneak back into someone's life here. I do feel like someone here is happy, uh, perhaps without the toxic um, environment that you, that you guys were in. I do feel like you guys were in like a un, very unhealthy situation. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Devil, and the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like you could have been dealing with an alcoholic or someone that does a lot of drugs. Um, yeah, I feel like this was not a very honest relationship. I feel like it wasn't really built on a very solid foundation. I feel like this relationship was built on a lot of lies and, lo and a lot of deception. Um, let's get some more messages here.
So we do have a masculine energy and a feminine energy. Um, we do have a queen of wands, uh, which is Aries energy, but you could feel free to place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped or reversed. So you could either be this king of pentacles or this queen of wands. Uh, tell me about this world card. What's going on with this world? I do feel like there's this energy of wanting to come in with the apology to sort of like salvage this connection. And I feel like it's this queen of uh, king of pentacles that's one, uh, that wants to do that. Um, yeah, there's this energy of like not really releasing each other, even though there is this like inner knowing that this is over. Tell me about the world. The fool. There's this energy of like wanting to leave all that toxicity behind, closing out that cycle and basically starting a new cycle. Tell me about the Hierophant. Eight of Swords. It could be one of you guys or both of you, but this is like the question about the mutual energies between you guys. And I feel like there's this stuck energy of like thinking about the connection over and over and over again. Um, yeah, like I said, not wanting to release it. Well, wanting to release whatever has happened in the past and basically start the new cycle. The problem is with that, I feel like we'll see what the rest of the cards say, but the thing is like, you're closing out one cycle and you want to start a new cycle, but you're not really fixing the problem like I, I feel like there there I, I I'm not seeing the energy of like sort of like fixing what um ended the connection to begin with tell me it's like just it's like it's like it's sort of like apologizing and just start closing out the last cycle and starting a new cycle without doing the work um tell me about the page of pentacles you have the world again Someone wants, someone wants to come back around, I'm feeling, and I feel like it's this King of Pentacles here. So you might be dealing with an Earth sign here, Aries. And like I said, feel free to place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped or reversed. This is a general reading. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. All right, we have the Hermit here, uh, Virgo Energy. There's this energy of wanting to come back around, but there's a fear because like someone's fearing that someone might not be receptive of this uh, this time because I f with the world card here, I feel like this has happened over and over and over and over again. I feel like it could have been an on and off thing. Sort of like one person having their uh, uh, one foot in and one foot out sort of thing. Tell me about the uh, hangman. Hangman over the hangman. Wow. You know, the hangman seats of like, you know, sort of like releasing things, releasing control, and just like sitting back and sort of like letting things be. But with the hangman's and the four of pentacles being here, Either both of you, I feel like both of you are not really releasing this. But just apply it to your own unique uh, situation. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Very interesting. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. They're both on the bottom of each deck. So this Queen here could this queen, we have a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles. I'm feeling it's like the same person. So Aries, you might have some earth in your chart, either Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And yeah, this is a true pair. So um, this could be a soulmate connection, a twin flame. I could see why it's so hard to let each other go because it is, you guys might have like some past life thing going, like a soul tie, like a soul contract or something like that. Um, so I feel like, not just in this lifetime, but in previous lifetimes, I just feel like you guys had like a lot of like unfinished business. 
like things were never closed out properly, I feel like, ever. I feel like someone gets scared and runs away. Uh, instead of doing the right thing, closing things out properly, um, we have the Fool clarifying the world, uh, Hierophant being clarified by the Eight of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles being clarified by the world, Nine of Wands being clarified by the Hermit, we have the uh, Hangman clarifying the Hangman, and the Four of Pentacles being clarified by the Ace of Wands. So there is this energy of being hopeful that this could come back together again. Thing is, I'm not really seeing cards of change here. Like, maybe you guys, maybe both of these are trying to gain a better perspective on the whole situation, but I'm just not seeing a whole lot of change. All right. What happened in the recent past to cause Aries and their ex to split? What happened in the recent past to cause Aries and their ex to split? Let's get two shuffles here. One and two. All right. What happened in the recent past to cause Aries and their ex to split here? chariot on the bottom with the deck cancer energy okay we have the three of pentacles maybe there was a third party situation the ace of cups the eight of pentacles lots of pentacles here okay oh we have the lovers gemini energy so this is this really strong soul tie maybe maybe someone has gemini in their chart um we have the nine of cups Earth and Gemini energy in their chart, and the Nine of Swords, okay. So what caused you and your ex to split up in the recent past? in the third party situation here where someone was telling someone that they care about someone they love someone but then behind their back they were doing something behind someone's back i feel like someone was stressed out in regards um where they stood with someone because i'm feeling like this energy of um their words not really matching their actions i just feel like someone wasn't really happy in this both of you couldn't uh, might not might not have been happy in this uh, connection because I feel like there was like I feel like there wasn't like uh, there wasn't a lot of honesty and transparency. It could have been one of you, um, or both of you guys. But I'm feeling like it's more one person. I'm feeling like it's maybe more this masculine energy, this king. Um, all right, tell me about the three of pentacles here. The Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Someone got sick of being in the third party or being juggled. You have the Page of Wands here. So whoever this, um, whoever this person is, I feel like this person was very passionately in love, but I feel like it wasn't really a mature love. I feel like it was just very childlike, very young. I mean, we have... Hmm. All right, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like there was juggling going on here. I feel like someone here, one person, was putting in a lot of effort juggling between two people. Tell me about the Lovers. The Six of Wands here. 
Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The King of Pentacles again. All right. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. In the world. Someone couldn't deal with the stress and anxiety anymore. And, if, and someone just like decided to basically end the connection. You know, we have the world card here three times. I feel like this was like an odd and off thing. It just kept happening over and over and over and over again. There's a sense of coming back together where, you know, where you guys felt like, you know, things would be different. It was just the same. Because I'm not seeing a whole lot of, I'm not seeing a lot of cards of change here. That's the thing. There is this energy of also feeling like, um, you know, someone here was looking for attention elsewhere. Uh, maybe some, I, I feel like this king wasn't just, was never really fulfilled. I feel like this king was never really satis satisfied. You know, the crazy thing is I feel like there might have been a bit of a double standard here. It was like, it's like this energy of like, it's okay for this king to do this, but if this queen did it, oh my God, this king, this king would like freak out. But then if this king is doing it and this queen is freaking out on this king, like this king is not okay with being freaked out. Like, I feel like there's a sense of entitlement here. Like basically, basically this king could feel like they could do what they want. I mean, they are coming up as a page, so I feel like you're dealing with a king that's not very mature, um, queen oh, or Aries. But yeah, I am placing you with this queen of wands here, so this queen of wands and this queen of pentacles. But like I said, feel free to switch the roles, place yourself where you see fit. The roles could be flipped or reverse, or reverse. Three of pentacles, ten of wands, ace of cups, page of wands. All right, the Eight of Pentacles being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. The Lovers being clarified by the Six of Wands. The Nine of Cups being clarified by the King of Pentacles. The uh, Nine of Swords being clarified by the World. All right, will there be reconciliation between um, Aries and their ex for um, June 2021? Will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex for June 2021? Uh, yeah, I'm just not seeing a whole lot of change. Uh, if anything, if this king comes back towards this queen, I mean, this queen, I feel like this queen is really doing nothing. I feel like all this energy might be this king of pentacles' energy. Um, yeah. So, Aries, if this King of Pentacles comes back towards you, I just don't feel like this person has really changed. Because I'm, I'm really not seeing a lot of cards of change here. I'm just seeing a whole lot of fear, like running away. Um, not facing uh, the issues head on. The Six of Swords. I feel like someone's moving back, but I do feel like someone here is moving back towards someone for reconciliation. I, I feel like it's this king towards this queen. Yeah, someone wants to rekindle this. You guys could have been married at one time. You guys could have children together. So just uh, apply to your own unique situation. The death card, Scorpio energy. In the fool. Yeah, someone's yearning for a new beginning here. I feel like someone's gonna tell. Wow. Could be a twin flame connection. Look, we have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling like this king is going to come back. Um, hold on one sec. I have to answer this call. Great. I feel like this king is gonna come back to tell this queen that they want a second chance here. They want to you know, rekindle this relationship. They're coming back changed. Let's have a new beginning. Um, let's care clarify it just to make sure that this person is sincere. This king is sincere here. Tell me about this uh, Six of Swords. All right, what's going on with the Six of Swords here?
what's going on with the Six of Swords? Queen of Swords here. Tell me about the uh, Judgment card. The Wheel of Fortune. So, we have a Queen here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords. Very interesting because, okay, I thought this king was going to move towards this queen for reconciliation, but I feel like this queen is moving towards this king for reconciliation. Or it could be that, you know, this king is moving towards this queen, but this queen is like, like sort of like running from this king. Because um, someone's stressing out about this restarting again. Because like I mentioned earlier, because like I feel like there's this energy of like wanting this, but at the same time, like, like it's not happening or something like that. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. Yeah, someone definitely wants to reconcile this. Someone wants a second chance. Tell me about the Death card. The Four of Pentacles. Whoever is, whoever is doing the reconciling, if you two are coming towards each other or one of you is coming towards each other, uh, I'm just not seeing a lot of change. This person, whoever this is, there is this energy of not, like, not releasing control or allowing things to be or allowing change to happen, accept, accepting that change gracefully. Tell me about the Fool. Seven of Swords. Someone's trying to sneak back into someone's life. Someone's going to come in with a romantic gesture, offer a cup of love, tell someone that they want to get married again, have kids, or more kids, or whatnot. Um, yeah, the thing is, all this is going to be a, an illusion. All right, we have the Queen of Swords clarifying the Six of Swords, the uh, Judgment card being clarified by the Wheel, Nine of Swords being clarified by the Ace of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles being clarified by the Six of Cups, Death being clarified by the Four of Wands, and the Fool being clarified by the Seven of Swords. All right, uh, so yeah, I just feel like the, every time this, this has happened, it, it was just an illusion. Like this person would tell you, this king would say, let's do this, let's give this a second chance and uh, we're gonna do all this stuff. It just never happens. Cause I feel like someone gets scared and runs away. Uh, so Aries, this is your general love reading. Will my ex return? If this resonated, please like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.